In this tutorial video, we're going to um, go over the Peppacura workflow. Uh, the Peppacura is a Japanese paper craft program that unwraps, uh, allows you to take a polygonal model, slice it, and unwrap it uh, for into a, a flat pattern for assembly. In this case, we're going to be unwrapping our pattern to represent and to use for laser cutting purposes. We're going to format it for the uh, laser cutter. And with Peppacura, you get uh, the essential elements that you get are the essential elements that you get are the outward cut line for your patterns, the mountain folds, origami folds, which are denoted by a dash line, your valley folds, which are denoted by a dot dash line, and you get edge IDs, which tell you uh, which parts, which parts uh, align to other parts within your model. And using this information, you can use it for the assembly of your uh, model. Traditionally, these are cut uh, or printed out on an inkjet printer, uh, cut using either a scissor or an X-Acto knife, and uh, use a glue for assembly. In our case, we're going to be formatting this for laser cutting, and we're going to uh, provide an overview of this process in this video tutorial set. Um, some of the things that you should note uh, that your paper size here um, is defined in your print and paper settings by width and height. This represents the height of your sheet in millimeters. All dimensions within Peppacura are within uh, millimeters. We use sort of an other 12, 19 by 16, which corresponds to a 4 by 2 uh, dimension. And we can also set the scale here of our model, which our dimensions being, our largest dimensions being uh, 899 millimeters, which is approximately 3 feet. And this allows us to design our uh, model. Uh, you can actually organize your model into parts that correspond to your model so that you can begin to uh, organize your geometry and actually create basically a puzzle that can be used to assemble your model. So here we see that this model is actually broken up into three distinct regions. And you could put labels on your sheets so that you know uh, which parts correspond to which areas of your model. And you can actually apply textures and sort of use Peppacura as a UV on wrapping software. And in this uh, suite of videos, we're going to go over the process of formatting your models for laser cutting using Peppacura. Many of the techniques can be applied to the traditional approaches for using the software, but in this tutorial series we're going to focus on its use in the laser cutting process. Okay, um, this is what the uh, Peppacura designer uh, looks like when you first open it. And usually you want to start by importing in one of the file formats that it accepts. And here we can see all the supported file types. Uh, .pdo, which is Peppacura's uh, native format. Wavefront OBJ is probably going to be one of the most uh, popular uh, formats, as is AutoCAD DXF 
3DS and STL. These are just some of the inputs and also light wave object. These are some of the common imports. But you generally start out by importing a file into Pepakura. And I'm going to import this toroid file. And I'm going to click this interface right here. And generally, you want to look at your model. It's because there's like the adjusting model coordinates tab. And there are generally four steps that you have to go through. And the first is to ask you if you want to flip your model. Um, and generally, back faces a colored dark gray. So this may be kind of fusing, but this color actually comes from the shader that was used for the object within Maya. But what you want to look at, you want to look at your model and look at your edges. Generally, mountain edges are painted blue. And this is a mountain edge, clearly. And valley edges, like these, are painted cyan. And as long as those are in the places where you would expect them, that's one way that you can evaluate it. So I'm not going to flip this. Then Pepakura asks you to designate the front of the model. And in this case, I want to make this blue face right here the front of my model. And then it asks you to designate the bottom. And in this case, once again, I'm going to make this blue face the bottom of my model. And then it asks you if you um, want to invert it. Um, and here, let me just show you what this would look like if you did that. Uh, and that sort of just rotated around and we're finished right here. And this is our model. Okay, now. As I said before, this is shaded, and generally, when I work in Pepakura, I like for this to be white. I like for this to be all white. So the way that I do this is that I go into my uh, other settings tab here, and I turn my texture off, which makes this white, and it's sort of like a paper model, and you can uh, clearly see the um, model uh, as it needs to be. And generally, once the model is here, there are some basic, under your 3D menu here, under Edit Mode, uh, you can do some uh, editing of your model. You can use this to sort of like push and pull uh, vertices. Uh, you can, and you can only move in one coordinate at a time. Uh, in like this case, this edge right here, there's no edge delineation there and you can adjust this to make that a valley uh, edge as you see here or if I pulled it out there it makes it sort of like a valley edge and it brings up this edge here so there is some basic modeling editing that you can do here but a lot of this can be solved in other ways and I'm going to um, close this and I'm going to back this up and, and perhaps at a later date I'll do a tutorial that deals with more of those functions uh, in detail Okay, the next thing that I want to do now, and some basic navigation, your right mouse button, dollies, your middle scroll wheel, zooms in and out, and if you hold it down, it uh, actually uh, pans like so. Okay, and so those are some of the basic, and you can hold down your shift right mouse button also to zoom in and to zoom out. Okay. And here, you note here, you can turn the light on and off. I like to usually turn on my light because I don't like this sort of like look, a glowing look of the model there. So I just turn on my light. Uh, if you want to, uh, you can bring it into wireframe, which is uh, kind of counterintuitive for what it is that you want to do. But you can turn your faces on and off. And you can also uh, turn your show edges on and off and you can see the model in that way but uh, most of the purpose of working with this program is to actually um, see the uh, edges so you want to turn that on um, okay. now we're ready to get to work the first step in um, setting up your um, Pepakura model one of the things that I like to do before I really get to work is that I like to define my paper settings and here, I come over here to Settings, Print and Paper Settings. And it defaults to like an A4. And what you want to do, you want to change that to a to an other paper setting. You want to use Other. And you want to set that. All the settings are in millimeters, as it states here. So I'm going to set this to 12 
19 by 610, which approximates a four foot by two foot size, which is the size of my laser bed. And I also want to set my margins to 15 millimeters, and that gives me a little bit over a half inch buffer around my paper so that uh, as I'm working, if I make my models go up to the edge here, I know that I still have room on my um, sheet when I do my final layout and laser cutting. The rest of the things you can leave pretty much in their default state and we're going to click on OK and now I have my uh, paper setting ready to go. Uh, and this is sort of just the basic import and set up for work in Pepakura and I'm going to stop this here because in the next uh, tutorial I'm going to go through and I'm going to talk about uh, some of the methodologies for unfolding and cutting your model so that it's formatted properly uh, for laser cutting.